So I'm going to make a video on um, horizontal asymptotes real quick. And uh, I'm going to start with this function here, 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 over something else. I'm not sure. 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. So let's take a quick look. Um, 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. And we need to change this because we're not drawing rainbows anymore over and it looks like 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So what we're going to do is to look at to find a horizontal asymptote. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the greatest exponent and here it's x squared. So if I divide everything by x squared, 2x squared over x squared, minus 4x over x squared, plus 2 over x squared, over 3x squared over x squared, plus 2x over x squared, minus 5 over x squared. And then these will cancel out. This will cancel out with that, and that stays. Those cancel out. This becomes that. And then I say, well, what happens if x goes to infinity? So as x tends towards infinity, well, this is gone. So this 2 will remain the same. Here, we're going to get minus 4 over, well, as it goes towards infinity, it's, begun, it's going to become 0. So I'm going to get rid of that. And this is 2 over infinity, which is going to be towards 0. And then here I'm going to get 3 plus 2 over infinity, which is 0, minus 5 over infinity, which is also 0, which means I get 2 over 3rd. So as x goes towards infinity, we're going to get, the, um, we're going to get a straight line at 2 thirds. All right, our horizontal asymptote is going to be at 2 thirds. So here's what the function actually looks like. Now, if I type in y equals 2 over 3, we get this. And you can see, as I zoom out, it's approaching infinity, right? And if I really wanted, I could zoom on in really, really close. You can see, here I'm at 90, here I'm way down here at like 92.8. If I were to scoot in, I could go back out really, really far. How may I help you, my dear? At 500, you can see there's still a space. Those are benches. All right. So now I'm going to go back to where I was. All right. And hopefully, ah, all right. Here's the other thing I want to look at. Now, here's a graph where it says 4x squared plus 3x minus 4. So if we take a look at this one, 4x squared plus 3x minus 4. Plus 3x minus 4 over x squared. Well, once again, if I divide everything by x squared, over x squared over x squared, well, my denominator is going to turn to 1 because I don't know where your Pokemon is. This is going to turn to zero, and this will turn to zero, which means my asymptote should be at four over one. And this is the key, as x goes towards infinity. And I have a feeling I might have to call this lesson short as my daughter is fooling around quite a bit. Now you'll notice, and here's the key. Here's my asymptote, and you might be saying, whoa, whoa, the function is crossing the asymptote, and that's fine because this is not when x is going towards infinity. This is when x equals, you know, like one point something. I wonder, yeah. 1.3. Anyway, as we, oops, as we mess up this graph, I don't know what just happened there. Um, oh, let's see. 
create a slider inadvertently. As we expand out and we take a look out, oh, and then I lost it again. You'll see that it is in fact the asymptote as we go further and further and further out. And that's towards positive infinity. I'm not really sure what I just did. That's fine. But as I go back towards negative infinity, you'll see that it remains at negative four. Anyway, so that's kind of it. By the way, if you happen to have something of a little bit different nature, such as uh, y equals x squared um, minus 4 over 2x. Uh, let's see what happens here. Once again, if you divide everything by x squared, you're going to get x squared over x squared, which is 1, but then your denominator would go to zero, which is why we have that. Anyway, I hope this video helps. I'm sorry it was a little bit rushed and not very good, um, but it should give a little bit of clarity to horizontal asymptotes. And like I said, the key is what happens as x goes towards infinity, not what's happening around the axis. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.